Okay, hello and welcome back to this video. In this video, we are going to learn about the previous command that is hatching. In the previous video, I have explained you how to create hatch and how to use object property. In this particular video, we will be learning or completing the practice assignment given in the previous one. So for uh, completing the practice assignment, what I will do is I will create a copy of this diagram to the right. Okay, I have already explained how to create a copy. Now, after that, I will just delete the hatching. Okay, and also delete the reference lines what I have already created. Now, in this video, my task is to create the hatch. Okay, so it is not much and also to create all the reference lines. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, let's say I want to create some hatching like this, what it is already present over here. So I'm going to press H enter for hatch. Okay, and then I'm going to highlight the areas where I want to create my hatch. So let's say if I want to create my hatch here, I can click here. If I want to create my hatch here, I can click in this region. If I want to create my hatch here, I can click in this area and similarly, I can click in this area. Now, why I click, why I'm clicking on all the four areas at one go, because these four areas are going to have similar hatch. So for example, I want hatch of this type. Okay. I want, let's say a particular color. So I'm not asking you to follow the same color, what I have given. And I want a particular scale. For example, I want my hatch to be little more dense, dense in the, in the sense, they should be little more closer. So I'll put 0.2 or let's say 0.5 for increasing the density of hatch and this is how I can complete my hatch in this area. So I can click OK and my hatching is done. So before I create my hidden lines, the first thing I'm doing is I'm creating my hatches. The next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this hatch over here, which is present on all six areas. So I'll go for H enter hatch. Then I'll click one, two, three, four, five and six. Then what I'll do is I'll change the color so that it looks a little different. Okay, and I'll change the scale also to one or let's say in this case to two because the diagram is quite big and I'll click on close hatch. Okay, so this is how I can complete my task which is related to hatching. Now my second task was to create some reference lines. For creating some reference lines, what I can do is first of all, I can type LT enter that is to load line type. Now here I have already loaded hidden lines. Okay, but I'll just clear it out. Okay, so I'll just uh, technically I cannot clear a line type which has already been used. So what I'll do is I'll add another line type. So for example, I want to load another line type. So I'll click on load and from this list, I'll choose a line type which looks very familiar to hidden line because hidden line is already added. So here I'll choose, let's say a dash line. Okay, I'll click OK. So here I've added a dash line. Then I'll click OK. Then I'll close uh, the command. Okay, now first of all, what I'll do is I'll go for L enter line and I'll create a line starting from here, finishing till here. And then I'll create a line which is extra by, let's say a particular amount, it's a 5 mm. So like this, okay, so I created a slightly longer line. Okay, now what I'll do rather than creating two lines, I'll create, I'll delete this main line, one line over here. And then I'll recreate a line from here to here. Now there are easier ways. Okay, there are easier ways to do this. Okay, you can also use join command. Okay, so if you remember after selecting this two line, if you press J at the join, so they will join and form a single line. Now what I can do is I can use rotate command. I can select this, provide this as my base point and I want to rotate this by 30 degree with a copy. So I'll click on copy and choose the rotation of 30 degree. Okay, so 30 degree was not the rotation. Actually 40 degree was the rotation. Either I can correct my rotation or else I can create a new rotate command. So that is what I'm doing right now. So I'll create a copy of rotation with the angle of 40 degree. Now what I'll do is I'll also create a circle exactly till the center and then I'll trim this portion of the circle. Okay. So you can notice the hatch is not disturbing the trimming part and I'll just delete rest of this. So this is how I can create my few lines here. Now similarly what I'll do, I'll create a circle here till the center. Then I'll create a line from the center till this quadrant and again a line from the center till the center. Then I'll select these three lines or even these three objects, one, two, and three. And I'll change the line type from hidden to dash. Okay. So I can choose a dash line. This is a slightly bigger version. So I'll choose hidden line, suppose. So I'll choose hidden line and also I'll choose a different color. For example, yellow or let's say red. Red will not work in this diagram. So I'll choose, let's say yellow. Okay, so this is how I have created these two elements in my drawing. So in the previous lectures, we have already understood how to make the drawing. In this lectures, we have understood how to create hatching. Okay, and how to create uh, this hidden lines. Okay, 
So hopefully you are able to understand the object property session, which is already completed in the previous session. Okay. And this was just a practice diagram of object properties. Okay. So make sure you do proper practice and make sure you complete this practice diagram because this is very easy. Okay. Once you complete this practice diagram, continue with the next video. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.